everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Colton Posey Fishing. So today we're going to be talking about your fish finder, how to read your fish finder, uh, what you may be seeing on your 2D sonar, your down imaging, your side imaging, and so on and so forth. We're going to figure out how to identify those bass on the fish finder. This is a question that I get all the time. Um, once you get it, you got it. It's super simple. Um, another thing, I see a lot of people that don't understand how to read their contour uh, on their maps. So uh, we're going to go over some stuff on the contour maps. Um, this is basically going to be um, straight to the point, super simple uh, uh, little guide, I, I would say. But uh, either way, I, I do want to say this. Uh, my, I don't know if I've ever told anybody this on the channel, but my son has a super rare genetic disorder. And um, there's only like 100 to 150 people in the world that have this. And uh, we go to doctors all the time, especially right now. We're going to doctors pretty much every week. So I haven't had a chance to get out on the water and figure out what the bass are doing. So I don't want to be the type of content creator, like I've always said, to just make clickbait videos to where uh, I'm just getting revenue from, you know, f people just clicking on my videos. I want to be able to put out accurate, valuable information. And right now I haven't got to go much. So um, that's one of the reasons the videos have slowed down. That's one of the reasons that I'm doing this video. But I, this is a very, very important subject that everybody really needs to understand, uh, whether you're just uh, the weekend angler or you're a tournament angler. So uh, you got to get caught up on those electronics. That's the reason a lot of people catch a lot of fish uh, is electronics. So uh, either way, stay tuned. This is something you don't want to miss. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So uh, right here on the left-hand side of your screen, um, you've got side imaging. Um, the line down the middle is basically the track of your boat, okay? So at the very bottom, that's where your boat's at at the current position. Um, and then to your right's going to be the uh, right side of your boat, and the left side is going to be the left side of your boat, obviously. So let's identify what we see on this image here. All right, so the dots right above where you see where the open water is. The dark part is the open water, and then... Uh, the uh, the uh, contrasted image that is um, that is obviously like the bottom of the lake. Um, those little dots right up above the bottom of the lake where uh, the red lines is, those are bass. And how do we know that those are bass? Well, they're all about the same depth level. So bass will sit um, very similar uh, in, in about the same depth level. They, they may be a little bit above or a little bit below each other, but they will pretty much be around the same depth. Um, now, with this image specifically, this is a good example of perfect settings because we have great um, um, separation between each individual fish so we can actually you know identify that there is multiple fish within the school so those dots that are you know kind of in the same area those that is a school of bass that's what a school of bass looks like now let's jump over to the top right image that is your down imaging okay down imaging is going to be very similar all right um so the top part is the the dark part that is open water obviously the bright a white line that is underlined in red that is the very bottom of the lake that also identifies that that is hard bottom okay so the brighter the bottom is the harder the bottom is the softer the darker the bottom will be now right there is a school of bass where the arrow is pointing where it says bass those bass are separated they're all about on the same level but they're not stacked so crappie will stack on top of each other to look like a christmas tree catfish will be just dead on bottom uh these long lines um but right here this is a perfect example of what you should see on your down imaging when you're looking for bass now let's jump down to the bottom one your 2d sonar all right 2d sonar can be very tricky to a lot of people now the where people get confused is like in this specific image right here. See on the very bottom of the 2D sonar, right above the yellow where the um, the red pieces are? Those are like some type of uh, stump or something like that. Your, your down imaging can really, really help identify that. Uh, but right up above it, those are bass. They're, they're all about on the same level. Um, so it's very important to understand the difference between 
you know, like a hard object and a non-hard object uh, of what you're looking at. All right, so let's talk about your sight image and identifying shadows. Now, this is the most important thing when you're reading your 2D, or your, not your 2D, I'm sorry, when you're reading your uh, sight imaging, is shadows. So if you'll look right here, I've got um, uh, the arrows pointing at the specific shadow. So the shadows is going to uh, help you identify fish. So sometimes your sight imaging, depending on the uh, layout of the bottom of the lake that you're getting the scan on, can pretty much deter you from seeing um, fish on your fish finder. This is where shadows come in. So these fish are positioned above the bottom. And what's happening is when my sonar signal hits those fish, it casts a shadow. So if you look right above the shadows, you will actually see a little dot. Those are bass. Uh, so by just simply paying attention to the shadows on your side imaging, it helps you identify exactly where the bass are and what they're doing. All right, so now let's talk about identifying the number one thing bass is going to eat, bait. Okay, um, so this is an image from down imaging on the hummingbird unit. Now, all this little blur in the water, I know y'all have seen this, and I, you'll see it on your 2D sonar, you'll see it on your side imaging, you'll see it on your down imaging, especially on your down imaging. Um, this is a bait ball. This is what the bass are after. This is their food source. This is their grocery store, their Walmart, everything. This is what they're going to chase. Now, if you look to the right, those fish are positioned to feed on this bait fish. A lot of times, if you look, you can see the fish are positioned below, so they're going to be looking and feeding up. This is where anglers make a mistake and fish under the bass. See how the bass are positioned up off of the bottom? We don't want to be fishing under them, so we want to be fishing about the same depth level. This is where paying attention to key little details can help you catch more fish. Now let's talk about your 2D sonar. This is one of the simplest things to understand with 2D sonar. Your bass will look like a U, just like it does in this image, okay? So see how they're all about the same depth level? They're suspended up off the bottom. Uh, they're all pretty similar in size. Uh, you got some small ones above them. This is a typical image of your 2D sonar of a bass. Is if you're scanning over them with a trolla motor going or if you're scanning over them with the big motor going, riding around. So look for those sharp U's and the target separation in between those fish. Typically, uh, crappie and stuff like that will just be all bunched together to kind of like a bait ball on your 2D sonar. Referring back to the side imaging, this is a perfect example of target separation on the fish and then looking at the shadows okay if you look at the target separation you can see individual bass here but you can't really count exactly how many they are because of the image obviously so we look at the shadows you can see multiple shadows so you know there's multiple fish in that school they're all about the same depth they're all um they're pretty much schooled together uh, this is a great image to identify and catch fish so now let's talk about our contours. This is where a lot of people mess up and don't understand what they're looking at. So look, we're going to talk about three different areas. We're going to talk about drop-offs. We're going to talk about humps and flats, okay? So this is a perfect image that has all three in it. So drop-offs. Let's uh, go up here to the top of your screen where it says drop-off and the arrow goes over. Now you can see right up above where the arrow is in those tight contour lines that are bunched up together. That is like a flat area. See how the lines are separated? That identifies a flat area. Um, and then as you follow down to where the arrow is, you can see where the lines are all just tight together. That is a key drop-off area. You'll see it all around on this uh, specific image of this lake. Um, typically, the bass will move up when they want to eat, and then they will move back down off the drop-off when they are uh, lethargic or they just, they're just they not really... Um, fired up to eat. So those places where the lines are really tight, those are drop-off areas. So the places where the lines are separated, those are flat areas. Now, let's talk about the humps. Humps is going to be like this specific place where I have highlighted right here in the middle. You can see the round, flat part right there on top. That is a high area that is flat. And then you've got the tight lines around the edge of it. Okay, that is a specific 
hump that, that they can move up on the hump to eat they can move off of the hump when they want to suspend and chill out for a little while now if you'll look directly to the bottom or to the right of where the arrow is where it says hump you'll see another sharp contour line and in between that it's like a little flat area that is a good indication of a ditch okay so during during the uh winter and stuff you're gonna have a lot of fish move into ditches and stuff this is a good area for those fish to suspend relax okay now let's talk about flats flats can be a lot of fun this is where a lot of your top water bites and stuff are going to come from during the spring um this is where fish are going to move up to spawn and uh you know just do their whole reproduction uh, uh thing that they do so um the flats are identified simply through open contour areas so you can kind of see right here where the um the lines are really separated it's just a super flat area anywhere like up on top of where the drop off is how the lines are really separated that is a very very flat area down there at the uh right of the hump where the red is that big uh square looking part that is a flat also all right guys so i hope that helps you out this is just a quick little guide that you can pick up on, you can take to the water, and you can practice day after day after day after day and get better at reading your sonar, reading your maps, and figuring out where these bass go, okay? Um, now, I do want to say, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the content. It helps me out a whole lot. Also, make sure to um, hit that notification bell. That way, every time I post up new content, you're um, up to date on what's going on. Um, because I don't know exactly when I'm going to be putting out content. Uh, it's kind of on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but either way, I appreciate y'all showing up. See you next time.